Hello, this is Foodie Dean, and I am excited to bring you a special dish today. And today, what I'm going to be preparing for you guys is this is Wagyu beef. It's a bone-in ribeye, completely grass-fed. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what Wagyu beef is, it originates from Japan. There's four different uh, kinds of cattle that make up the Wagyu beef. I'm not going to try to pronounce them um, because uh, I don't want to mess them up. But anyway, what makes these cuts very special is the marbling that's in the meat and it creates a steak that is second to none. The flavor, and as I say, there's steak and there's Wagyu. And today, we're gonna go ahead and cook Wagyu for you guys. And because we're working with a, such a high quality steak today, we're not gonna do any special seasonings or anything. It's just gonna be salt and pepper, that's it. These steaks do not need anything else. So I've done that today, I did a little while ago. I went and I put, uh, I did salt in and just pepper. You can go a little bit heavier because they are thick steaks, so go ahead and remember that. So, now, the way we're actually gonna cook these today, I'm gonna do it a little simpler today, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys, and I'm gonna do it up onto the gas barbecue. And we're gonna basically sear the outside, seal the juices in, and then finish off the steaks. Then, in a few more days, we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna do it a little bit different. And we're gonna uh, step it up a notch, make it a little bit more difficult, and we're gonna do what they call the reverse sear. On the reverse sear, we're gonna put it in the smoker, to get some smoke flavor into the steaks and then we're going to sear at the end to go ahead and give it that caramelization and the flavor of the outside of the steak. So watch out for that. We're going to do that video today. The other one will be out in a few days. And again, always remember, subscribe so you can go ahead and see the new videos and stuff that we're working on all the time. So let me get the barbecue right outside and I'll see you guys outside in a few minutes. All right, so now we have the barbecue up to temperature. So we will go ahead and put up on our steaks. We got it up nice and hot here. So we'll grab our first steak. Can you hear that? I think the steaks are talking to us. So we set these here. Let's go ahead and get a good contact here with the grill. And let's go ahead and close up the grill and let that go ahead and heat up. So we'll close it up and we'll be right back. Alright, the steaks are cooking and I rotated them 45 degrees to go ahead and give them a little bit of a pat and hopefully on that side. Let's go ahead and flip it over one more, one more time to the other side, like this. Flip the other side and then let me give you a little bit of a close up to see if we can see what these are looking like. They definitely smell good. All right, now as you can see the steaks, uh, they're right now they're about 134. And 134 is gonna be, you know, medium rare, somewhere around there. So I'm gonna take it up just a little bit more, but not too much, we want them to be nice and juicy. So uh, again, it's up to whatever your taste is. And if you want it to be a little bit more well done, of course, just leave it up a little bit longer. So it's gonna range anywhere from you know 125 to rare to all the way up to 155, 160 to well. But I'm sure you're not gonna go ahead and do that. But uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and bring them here off the grill, bring them inside, slice them and see what they look like. All right, so we brought the steaks in and we've let them uh, rest a little bit. And let's go ahead and cut into them and go ahead and kind of see how they are. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut along the bone. Take the bone off of here. And then we're gonna see how these look. I'm gonna slice it here. Slice it there. Here. 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 And of course, the best part, right up here. And now, the moment of truth. You can look at this perfectly cooked, nice and pink. And let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. There you go. Now, the favorite part is we get to taste this. So, sorry to do this to you guys. I guess this is what they call the chef's privilege. So, let me see. Mmm, that is very, very good. All right, 
Well, now you guys know. Watch out for the next video we got coming up here on the reverse here. So we're going to go ahead and step it up a notch. And just remember to click the, the subscribe button. And we have a lot of new things coming for you guys up here soon. Have a great day and enjoy.